I'm Tom Saunders, the garden designer from Skylark Garden Design. This garden is the apothecary and it's been inspired by the journey really about finding out how plants can be helpful in a medicinal way. So it's included lots of things where I've been working alongside a medicinal herbalist and learning about what the different plants should be in order to make an apothecary work in someone's terrace garden. An important design element of these gardens and, and the apothecary garden is the fact that there's many things that you might not have thought were achievable in a small space. We have a wine and dining table here, perfect um, size for two or three or even four. We've got a pond tucked away in the corner there, a half barrel pond from an old whiskey barrel. And the main water butt there also from an old distillery up in um, Aberdeenshire. While I was in the Columbian Andes, I managed to find this, the passy floor, which is climbing out of the window here. And it's a sedative, so um, it's one to take before uh, bedtime. Apothecary lean-to behind me is all completely uh, made from materials reclaimed. And inside there are tinctures and oils, um, lots of linen, and there's also a fuchsia plant there, and it's growing beautifully in the corner there, sort of next to the window, hanging down from the roof. So dotted around the garden are um, Babascum um, thapsus, which is a native plant. Um, and that's an interesting plant. It's uh, medicinal, obviously, and um, can help you with things like coughs and colds. And you can have that in a form of a tincture, which is a course of um, like a medicine that you can take to increase your metabolism. But also the flowers can be used as teas as well. So there's plenty of ideas to take home. Uh, there's also the, the lean-to itself, which is um, lots of plants are growing inside there. Uh, there's places for storage. An enjoyable plant to grow in the apothecary has been the lemon verbena. It's actually just a really good thing to put inside a tea. Really good for anxiety and stress and it's um, a very calming tea to take. So one of the plants here which is a bit of a showstopper is the calendula, really bright orange. That plant also grows in South America and is used by indigenous people in, um, in, in the Andes. Uh, but it's very good for the tummy. It's an anti-inflammatory. It can be turned into a balm, into tea and into tinctures to treat people. And actually, a lot of, in, already in a lot of people's gardens are lavender and uh, rosemary. Not only do they uh, make your house smell beautiful when you're um, drying them, they are also really good, uh, have a calming effect. So I became a firm believer of the outdoors becoming um, an essential part of all people's lives, especially children. And it's been well documented now that being in gardens, being outdoors is very good for your well-being and your, and your overall holistic health. So we really want this to feel like a small space that's achievable for people, um, for anybody, especially those traditional terrace streets up in the northwest of uh, northwest of England.